I'm going to leave you with one more video before we close. And again, this is two years ago. Watch this. Somebody's got to be right. Somebody's got to be wrong. What do you do with that? Well, without 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17 and a commitment to the authority of God's word and a surrendering to him and his word, I'll tell you what you do. You have chaos. And then you have massive division. And then you have a witness that the world mocks. And then you are an anemic representation of a mighty power. This is why the purity of the body and the commitment to the purity of God's word, not just in definition, but in application, becomes so key. And not just in application, but in attitude, is so key because it's tied back to our witness. It's not just for our well being, although our blessing is connected to our faithful obedience, but more important than our blessing is our witness. Right? You show the world a church that's divided over foundational core applications, and you see a world that is looking at a splintered bride. Oh, I saw, yeah, I saw the leg of the bride over, I saw an arm over there. The whole thing's not all that attractive. Dismemberment just kind of turns me off, you know. This is why Jesus was so clear about the power and the necessity of the unity. And I'm here to tell you, it's the Spirit of God that supernaturally unifies us. It's the Word of God that defines and defends that unity. This is why it's so important that those that you and I encounter, those that you and I know, and frankly, you and I, we surrender to the authority of God's Word. And back to that higher math when it's not so easy, it's when God's word contradicts our actions or our attitudes. It's when God's word demands change where change is not wanted or embraced. You as an ambassador of God's word, you as an ambassador of God, you're the one that shows up and says, this is what the Lord says. And you're either perverting it in the way that you're trying to twist it, or you're denying it, or you're just flat out disobeying it. But I love you too much to leave you in that. So I'm going to call you to surrender to God's word and his way, to come under the authority of his will as expressed in his word. This is where it gets hard. Friends, that's the truth and love. And it's timeless and it never changes. This is the call on all of our lives. This is the privilege in our lives. This is what grace looks like lived out. This is what the gospel in application means. This is the biblical call in our lives. You know, anybody that's willing to try to bust that or break that or divide that up, watch out. This is the call of God. David Platt says, unleashing radical people into the world requires the gospel as our foundation and our motivation. You and I must embrace a gospel that both saves us from work and saves us to work. We live sacrificially, not because we feel guilty, but because we have been loved greatly. And now we find satisfaction in sacrificial love for others.